Hi guys. Hope anybody can join me today in my sewing room. I know some of you guys might be busy, but today what I'm doing, I'm cutting out my jumpsuit. So what I have with me here, I have my pattern, and I'll show you how to cut out this jumpsuit. So this is my pattern I designed for sew this um, jumpsuit. And this is a, um, a fans pattern that I have here. That I will be doing this jumpsuit here. Now I choose to do this in a red because I like this um this red. So I decide to do this jumpsuit in this red. Now I um I always design my own pattern and I have this as a PDF printout. So if you guys are interested in this pattern to sew this jumpsuit please um, email me or send me a message on messenger so I can send you the link for this jumpsuit um, pattern now this pattern is not free you'll have to purchase this pattern but it's for a small um, fee so when you're ready you go to the send me a message so I can send you the link and you'll see the price there for this pattern now there's a jumpsuit pattern as I said this one here and the pattern is designed by Tamara fashion style which is me now the reason why I decide my um, design my own pattern is because most of the pattern out there um, in the pattern company the pants just really can't fit me well because I have a large butt. I have my um, lower body is much larger than my upper body, and then I have a large butt, so the pattern waist for the um, pants. In the pattern them the commercial pattern the waist does be too low right so it i don't get a good fit with the commercial pattern so i designed this pattern for more curvy body right for a very curved body because my um i am very curvy so i decided to design this pattern for like people like who have a lot of curve who have a big butt and this kind of thing who lower body is more thicker than the upper body so i decided to design this pattern for them so if you're interested in the pattern you can um send me a message i will send you the link where you can go and purchase this pattern but as i said it's a jumpsuit that i'm making now i need to make some changes to this jumpsuit now this jumpsuit has this, this zipper in the back right and it's a waist it, the waist is here right now why i designed this jumpsuit because most of the commercial pattern waist would fit you here right now i need my waist up here where my butt could cover so i designed this so the waist could be a little higher than a low waist right now the zipper is in the back but i will change it and put the zipper in the front of this jumpsuit here now this is a nice narrow leg jumpsuit that i am um, designed here the leg is not too wide there are different uh, method you can change it if you want but the only changes i'm going to make to this is the zipper i will put in the front just in case you want to go and you rain you don't have to get nobody to follow you to zip it down you can zip it down for yourself so this is the um the super i'm making now this pattern is a very easy pattern it didn't have much pieces you have the front of the pants and you guys can see the front of the pants is much smaller than the back because the back you don't have butt in the front right so this is the front of the pants and this is um tamara fashion style now this is the front and we're gonna cut two pieces of this pants here and it also have a dart now as you can see the back of the pants is much larger than the front right this will accommodate this will accommodate your butt so the front did most of the commercial pattern this um crotch would most start from here so every time you sew it the crotch will be very sharp and you always are getting a gather in the pants scrotch and in the back and i don't like that i like my pants fit me plum so i designed this pants to suit me so this is so more curvy people right they are very curvy body so this is the back of the pants and the back of the pants we're gonna cut two of the pants and it have that now this is the front for the bodice it have a no this is the back for the bodice it have a back dart this is the front of the bodice which have a front dart a bust dart and a waist dart as well and this is the facing the back facing and the front facing so we have two four six pattern pieces and now we're gonna cut this out i'm doing it in the same red right 
so I have a nice material here which this is a jeans material it didn't have much stretch so this pattern designed to sew with any fabric you didn't have to it didn't have to be stretch fabric because I designed this for sew with any fabric you could sew it with stretch you could sew it with non stretch any fabric you want you can sew this with right so now I'm going to move this aside now I always like to cut out the bigger piece first and I'm going to cut out the back piece first because this is the most the largest piece of the arm pattern right so I'm going to move these pieces aside and I'm going to cut this out let me just move this aside now we're going to do all the cutting out today and in my next tutorial we're going to sew them together so we're going to cut all these pieces out today and then we're going to the next video we're going to sew these pieces together so as i said now this pattern called for two let me see how much fabric it called for i have all written out here the fabric it called for two yards two pints two pints for the six but it's yeah um, i buy three yards of fabric so three yards of fabric because i am making a belt for this as well right now the picture it don't have a belt but i am putting a belt i always like belt in my way so i got three yards of fabric here which i'm going to use to cut out this fabric cut out this jumpsuit so i'm going to open this and this is three yards of the main fabric um yeah jeans material fabric it didn't have much stretch right as you guys can see it didn't have it only have a little stretch across which is not much so I'm going to open this out and I'm going to cut this out. Now my fabric is on a fold, right? So I'm going to cut out two pieces at the same time. My fabric is on the fold. Let me get this properly. I also um, design for people. I sew for people as well. But I'm just doing this jumpsuit for myself. But if you guys want me to sew it for you, I can do that as well. I do custom clothing as well. I sew for people as well. So make sure your fabric neat and nice. Make sure they salvage them together. So my fabric is on a fold too, right? So when I cut it, it'll be two pieces. I'll be cutting. So I'm going to get my pattern, which is the largest piece. And I'm going to lay this pattern down. Let me just bring this close to you. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to lay this one down. Always make sure you have enough fabric for this. I'm going to lay this here. Don't waste your fabric. Make sure the crotch get enough. Never cut on arm. Um, never cut your salvage end because it make the clothes pull. So always try to get it away from the salvage. Now you're gonna get um your measuring tape. Let me see if I get a measuring tape. Now we have to measure these green lines so that this pattern can sit properly. You don't want your zipper swinging to the side. So I'm going to measure the green line too. See if I can, um, I will get that straight. I will also need some pins. So I will set this down. Pull this a little. And I would measure my green line from the top here to the salvage end. See if I can adjust this. To make it 12. So I'll adjust that. And I will pin this, but I'll pin it in the seam. I love one line. I won't pin it in the pants because I don't want no hole in my fabric. So I'll pin this in the seam. I love one line. Like this, or you can hold it down with something. Now I'm going to measure the end here. To make sure I get the same 12. So I have to shift this. For me 12. So I will shift this. Bring this back a little. Bring it back. Right. So I have 12 there. So once you measure the end, the two ends, the middle is supposed to be okay. 
with the two end right see that 12 so the whole pants line up properly so now I'm going to pin down this crotch here I'm going to pin that down there now before I cut this I want to make sure that I have enough fabric for the front of the pants so I will pull this in the car now I will pull this in the car now and I will stretch this out so let me just pull this down here I just want to make sure I have enough um, fabric for the front of the pants. The top, you can put your fabric for cut your top anyhow, but just make sure you got enough fabric for cutting the front of the pants. Let me move aside these people. Let me just pull this down and then I could cut. When I fit my um, front of my pants, then I would know if I have enough to continue cutting. Let me just set my pattern and see if I have enough. This can go here. Let me see. And yes, I have enough. So I could go ahead and cut. So I will pull this up back. And we don't need to waste fabric. So you see, we have this whole pattern layout here. Let me pull this so you can see. Right, we have this part on there. Now, the, the smaller pieces then, you could get the top now, and we can put the top together. So we have the top, looking for our next piece of face yet. Okay. So the top them now, one half to cut on a fold, and one half to cut. So the back we can cut, well, for me, for my jumpsuit, I my, I have to get um, an opening in my back, right? Because I have a kind of sink in my back, so I have to get an opening in my back. My back of my um, top is much um, shorter than the front of my top, right? Because remember the front got bust, right? So I need to cut two pieces of front and two pieces of back. I don't need any or no fold, right? So the full end of the fabric... Um, now I won't place this on a fold, right? I would place this where I could cut it out. So I have the back here. I can get. I could lay the back here. Let's pull this up. I could lay the back here, and you can see I would left this little piece here so that I can um, stitch it back, right? Because you must left an allowance to stitch back back. Now you see just how we line up the pants. We must line up this top. So I'll pull this up. Right, let me just slant this so you can see. So, just so you line up the pants, you have to line up this stuff. Now, we have to get some pin, and I'm going to line up this stuff the same way. Our line up. So, I have five and a half here. So, I will take this and I'll pin this in the seam allowance. Now, I have to leave an allowance to stitch back. So, five and a half. Now, we'll go down here. Five and a half. Push this a little right i will pin this in the end of this top here right here and now i'll come and i'll pin this down i always pin down your pattern properly and i will pin this down you have to use up your cloth never worry um waste material next what we're gonna do we're gonna look for the smaller piece to see which piece can fit here right so let's see which piece can fit here. We have this. We don't want this. Well, the facing could go on a fold because remember this is the inside of the facing. So let me see if I can cut this right. So I can cut this there, place this on a fold. So this piece that I'm placing here is the front. So I will cut this on a fold because remember when we done um, stitch back, right? No, the back, the, the back will cut on the fold, but the front would cut two pieces. Because when we don't stitch that back, we have to get it. So if this can't fit, this can't fit. So we will cut out these pieces first. So now grab, grab your scissors. Now you have to get a sharp scissors. Right? I have a um, fabric shears here. And we're going to cut these pieces out. So I will cut this, pieces, this piece first out. Now this is a very stiff, a hard fabric. It's a jeans material fabric, the jeans type. But I choose to do this in the red. Always um, rest your hand on your fabric and always make sure this bottom or this shears 
touching the table when you're cutting. And don't jig, just make one stroke so that your cloth won't look mess up. So you cut that off. And now you're going to cut this. Cutting that. Now remember we left in this here, right? So get a chalk. Get your chalk and in my sewing room I always use white chalk. The reason why is because the other color chalk them does stain and you don't want your clothes to stain, right? So if you get a white chalk, white always come out. So I will get a white chalk. I always use white chalk. Even if I'm using a white fabric, I use white chalk as well, right? You're going to see it once it's sharp. Hmm. So I'm going to cut this out. If you want, you could raise the back. If you find it too low, you could go up. Instead of cutting there, you could go up and just raise the back a little like this. If you want, right? I'm just showing you. You can raise the back. Let me say that back is too low. You can raise this back right here. But I need my back with the pattern is. So I'll cut this out. Now my pattern already have um, five eight seam allowance. So when you get it, you don't have to put seam allowance inside. And then we will cut this open. We will push this between here. Cut that. And now we have two pieces of um, front, right? This is the front, so we have two front. So we will rest this aside. We just rest this aside. So we have two front there. And we are going to have two back. So now we will cut out the back of the pants. Now if you hear a piano playing in the background, is my daughter practicing on she piano. So sometimes you might hear a piano noise in the background. My daughter practicing. So now we're going to cut out this um this pants. Let me just slant it a little for you. So we're going to cut out the pants. Always do long strokes. Now my pa this pattern would be um if you need this pattern just send me a message I could send you the link where you can buy this pattern. Now I designed this pattern for like curvy people, thick people, and people who have um big hips and a big butt. Now this pattern here could fit um my waist is store the three inches and my hips is 46 so i designed this pattern to fit my hip and my waist my boss is store the seven so if um i have bigger size in part in the pattern i have smaller size in the pattern right so the pattern comes in a um the standard measurement where you can choose your measurement and cut out your garments now i do this one for for me personally but I, um, I do others where it could come in a PDF. Or if you want me to sew the jumpsuit for you, I can do that as well. So we're going to cut that out. And I always get a sharp scissors, not a dull one. And I always make sure your scissors rest, the bottom of the scissors rest on the table. Rest your hand on your fabric as well now don't throw away these ends because we will need them sometimes you need an end for make something because i like to design my clothes i don't always um sometimes i draft a pattern and then when i'm ready to sew the clothes i add a additional design to it that is all about designer you, know. you have to design your clothes to suit you i always make my clothes to suit me and i always make things what i like and things that i would wear so this is what the arm um, pants pattern would look like so this is the back of the pattern so we have the back of the pattern cut out and we have the front of the pattern cut out now we have to put all the markings on the pattern so we will rest this aside and we'll go and cut out the rest So 
So let's pull this. So we cut out the front of the pants first. And remember we have to cut two, right? Cut out the front. Now this fabric can have no stretch really. So the pattern designed to um, sew with any fabric. So now the front of the pants. And we have to do the same thing as what we do for the front of the pants. Now I can turn it this way. I will turn it this way so that I can get more fabric that way for rest my um my top for my pattern on. I will pull this back because I don't want to cut the salvage because the salvage tend to pull your fabric and make it tight. Because remember the salvage is just to hold the fabric. Now I'm going to measure that the same way. I'm going to measure that. And we're gonna got to get some pins. Now I have a lot of pin here. So first I'm going to measure. Let's measure the top first because we can always swing the arm, the bottom. So let's go to the top. Make sure you salvage together. And now I'm going to swing this. Let me see if I can get it. Once I'm going on the salvage, I'm going to pull this back. So I end up with eight and one eight. So I will take that and I will pin this in the salve. And once I am away from the salvage, so let me bring it back a little from the salvage. I don't want to cut the salvage. So let me see how much I have now. Okay, I have eight and a quarter. I will work with that and I'll pin this in between the seam allowance. Cause I don't want to hold in my fabric. The bottom now, we will do the same thing with the bottom. So I'm going to measure the bottom. Eight and a quarter on each, so the bottom need to come to me. So I'll measure the bottom. It need to come a little more to me. Right, so this is eight and a quarter. So I'll take that. So my pants would sit down properly. It won't swing anywhere because it cut out properly on the grain. So I'll pin that. And I'll pin the bottom here as well. So we have that. Pin this this um the waist so when you're cutting it won't raise up so we'll pin that and now what we'll do we'll pull this up here so we have enough fabric for cut out our um our top right so let me cut out the pants we cut the pants out so i'll cut the pants out from here always hold your pants down. And you pull it. When you pull in your cloth, pull all two together. The part that cut cut loose and the, the next part that the pattern on. Pull down your fabric, your, your pattern on your fabric with your hand so that you can cut smooth now this pattern already have seam allowance inside i'm going to cut that i cut in straight across and then i'll remove this fabric and i'll continue cutting out this here so i will cut this out from the bottom here cut off this extra piece i will have an extra piece right here with the paper so i'll cut this And this jumper gonna fit very neat and nice because i know my body so i know what will fit me and what won't fit me those commercial pattern the pants don't fit me at all at all you always wear the same fabric with the commercial pattern um pants so i decided to design my own pants to suit me cut out the front to the pants I'm going to fold it and I'm going to rest it aside I'm going to cut that out now we're going to cut out the top and we're going to fix this fabric so that we can get the top cut out as well so let's see 
for it. But now I need a belt for this um for this jumpsuit as well. So I will try to use up more the end here because I need my belt to be like um six inches wide, like um let me see five inches wide. So when I fold it in, I will leave it like two inches. When I do all the seam allowance in and everything. So we're gonna look for the biggest piece of the pattern and we're gonna see if we can get it this way. Let's see now, this is the back of the pattern. So we have to cut two of that. So I'll try to use up more this end here and leave that large piece just in case. Now I could swing this pattern anyhow because the fabric in have no um no up and down. Right? So I could swing this anyhow. So what I'll do, I will measure the same way. But before I measure, I have to get a guideline for measure first. So I'll draw a guideline. So this ruler is two inches wide. So what I will do, I will draw a guideline like this. Draw a guideline like that. Continue this line. And then I place the pattern. Draw the next one like one inch away from that one. Or like a half inch away. And you will get the guideline. Half inch away from that one. Let's see. So you can get the guideline you're looking for. Half inch away. So we will place it here. On this one here. So get your tape measure now. And let's measure to this line. Now I have seven here. Now I have to get seven for the bottom as well. Now you're going to pin that into the seam allowance. So that would stay there. Now I have to get seven as well. Now this have to pull back a little. So that it can be lie down straight on my body. Pull it back. So I have seven here. So I'm going to pin this here. To hold that in place so it won't shift. So I have seven there and I could cut that out now. So I only left for cut out now the, um, the facing for it. So I will cut this out. And remember we have to lift the half inch, right? That's why I draw a half inch line between here and the guideline. This is going to come now as my um, half inch. So just take your ruler and you just measure your half inch. Now I have a half inch on my ruler. But I need a 5 8 because all my pattern have a 5 8 inside. So I need a 5 8 seam allowance. So I'm going to cut right here. So I'm going to cut right here. So you have to measure that. Then I'm going to draw this out. And I'm going to cut that. So you have to cut that for um stitch it back. And I'm going to cut this. Now put your hand and hold this part to undo. And we're gonna cut. Cut. that out. Move this and now I'm going to go and cut on the line that I drew. So this is the back of my top. This is the, st um, the seam allowance so stitch it back. I have to cut here. So the back of my top as you notice shorter than the front of my top. The reason why is because I have my back have a sink. So I'll put this aside and now we have to cut out the facing. Now we have a piece of fabric here. Let's see if the facing could fit onto this fabric. You have to learn to save fabric, not waste it. So I have that. Let me see if I can get any one of these facing out of this fabric. So I could go here. Let me see. So I can get the facing from this fabric. All you have to do is play with your pattern. So I know my pattern can't fit like this, right? Because as you guys can see, all that is out. Now I have this extra piece of fabric here. All I have to do is flip this pattern like this. Right? Now I see in my see my arm um, green line through here. So I have to line up my pattern to suit. 
so i could see my green line but if you guys can't see it i could just draw it out for you right here i'm gonna just draw it for you right here what i see in mine so i'll just draw this out so i have to line up this part one so that it can sit straight as well now let's see which piece is this because we have to cut one so we, this is the back so this is the back so we will cut two pieces in this as well and we could join it or you can cut it on a fold and even say if you cut it on a fold you still have the extra but we cut two pieces in that so let me just line that up let me see how much i have here i can pull this up so let me see i have six and a half pull that back a little i have six and a half here let me see if i can get six and a half the others so i will let me pull this a little because i need some seam allowance for this let me see how much i have here now let me see let me pull this back a little see if i can get at least seven because i need to leave a seam allowance so i get seven so i'll pin this now for the top let me see if i can get seven as well so i just need to pull this top a little about that come back a little, a little. so i get seven here you have to know to play with your fabric and your pattern now i'm going to cut this so i, I won't be wasting any um any fabric now i line in the top with the same fabric the reason why it's gonna give it a nice thickness and it's gonna make it look like ready made and neat and then i gonna um put some top stitch on it with some fancy thread so it would look like if it's a store bought um jumpsuit that i have just clip this piece up uh, and make sure it lie down flat So we cut two pieces in this. And we're gonna cut this. So this is the back of the arm. Um, We're gonna cut here the back of the farm casing so we cut this out so this is so all you gotta do now just take your pattern up flip this flip the pattern to suit pin it back and you put that aside now i'm going to get this piece because i need to make a belt I don't have a pattern for the belt, but I could do the belt for myself from this same fabric. So I'm going to get this, put this up top here so I can get the arm. Um, I don't want to waste this fabric, so I'll look for, see how I can get this. So I'll place this like this and do the same thing. I need to draw a line for this. And then I need to come in a half inch on this line. Draw next line and place this here. Now this piece here, this is the front. This is if you're putting um, if you are not putting a zipper in the front, this piece have to cut on a fold. So this piece would come on this fold here. So when you cut it out and you open it, you get one um long piece. Now I need my zipper in the front, so I would just cut two pieces of the front. Because I need to zip my um, jumpsuit up and down. I don't need to get somebody walking around behind me if I go out with this. So follow me to the toilet for zip up my pants and zip down my pants and all these kind of things. So I always put my zipper in front or in the side. So I'm going to place this on this line. And I'm going to measure this as well. Let me see how much I get for this. I get five, so I could work with that. And 
once you line it up properly, now you're going to put this in here. Now the front, we're going to need to left a seam allowance to the front. Because remember, we have to get a zipper. So we're going to left a one inch seam allowance. I have enough there. So let me come bring this. And I get five. You might see me and left any um, seam allowance to the back. The reason why I did not left any seam allowance to the back of the pattern is because I have a sink in my back. And most of my um, clothes, when I fit it up, I just have a lot of extra in the back. So I just avoid leaving seam allowance in the back of my clothes. Now I have to put like an inch here. So I'll measure an inch. One inch for the zipper. So I'll measure an inch out for this. And then I'll connect this. So I'll just connect that there. Connect that. And then I'll come I'll connect this here. And now I'll cut this out. Now I'll try. I need a belt as well. So I'll show you how I'll do the belt. So I'll cut this like this. Cut on the line that I drew. And I will cut so because I need to avoid cutting too much on the um whole of the fabric. So now I'll cut this. Let's cut this cleaner. Right, so I'll put that and now I'll cut this out. So I'll go from here. I'll cut this out. So that now I have to cut on this line here. As remember to cut this on the zipper line. Sometimes you forget and you cut out. Fit your left no seam allowance so the zipper and done it tight. So as remember to cut out the zipper. And the zipper would only be like a 5 8 inch, but I always left extra for the zipper so that when you surge in it, you will get extra. Now we don't cut out this. So this is the front facing. If you ain't doing the zipper, you need to cut that on a pole. So now what I'll do, I need a belt for my um my pants. And as you guys can see, I don't have much fabric for that because I just had enough fabric for cut all the jumpsuit. But I will, you have to know how to get your, um to design your clothes. So this here now, I will cut like two pieces of this. Let me measure this length of this. So the length of this, this is exact my um, waist or the tree, but I need my belt a little longer. So I cut two pieces of this to make the belt. So with this belt now, I have a six inch ruler. If I can put my hands on it, let me see, yes. Now I have this ruler here, which is six inches wide, right? And 23 inches long. Now I need my belt to be like, it will be five inches, but when I fold it down, as I don't want to like, like a two inch belt I want, when I fold it in half, I gonna get the two inch belt neat, right? So I will draw all this like five inches here, yeah, because five, the buckle gonna be like two inches. So first of all, I have to draw a straight line to get this belt to cut properly. So I'll use my white chalk. Always use white chalk in your sewing room. All right. Never use any co other color chalk because it's going to um, stain. So let me pull this down. And forget a straight line. I always match up the ruler with a straight line like that. And you draw that. Draw this line here. Draw that. So from that line now, I'm going to measure in five inches, which is on my ruler. Let me get it. Let me see the right side for this ruler. So I'm going to measure in five inches. I'm going to leave out one inch because the ruler is six inches wide. I'm going to measure 
five inches. I don't want too much of a broad belt because people who have a um, who lower body much thicker than the upper body, broad belt don't really look properly. The slimmer the belt, the better. That's what I learned in fashion design in school. Same, a, a thick person always need to wear thing to look slimmer. So I need that. So this is what I need. So I'll cut one more piece of this. And I'll leave the same one inch out. And I'll continue. Continue cutting that. Don't carry too much in the end because you need to get a straight end as well. Make sure it line up properly. And I will get my belt from there. So I will cut this out first. Then I'll cut the other piece. Good. So let's see now. So we have to trim this. this now this is the wrong side of the fabric facing me the reason how i know this is the wrong side now this fabric both look right side right but you must know the wrong side of your fabric because it have this fold here and when you turn it over you can see this is the right side of the fabric right and this is the wrong side of the fabric so this is the right side of the fabric now my right side of my fabric Yes, this is my right side. So I'll take this belt and I'll pin this fabric like this. Now I don't need to pin in too much because remember it's a belt I need. So I will measure like an inch in from the edge here. And I'll get my chalk. And then I'll pin this. Now I pin it, I'm pinning it this way, I'll pin it this way. The reason why is because when you go to sew, you can always pull out the pin in an easier way and the fabric would still line up rather than pinning it like this. So when I done, I going to stitch across here. I stitch in on this line to make one belt. Now I would um, do an iron on facing on this because I need my belt to be stiff. So I need to put something to stiffen this belt. And when I don't do that, I would fold the belt like this. So this is how come I would get my two inches belt. So it would always be neat, right? So this is the belt we don't cut out here. I have to put an iron on on this. So we rest this aside. So now that we finish cut out that, now you see I just had enough fabric to do what I had to do. So three yards of 60 inches fabric would work perfect for this jumper. So now we have to mark out this arm. Um, you have to do the marking. So when you finish cutting, you have, if you're cutting on a fold, you only have one piece of the front where you cut on the fold, but I cut two pieces. So I have two pieces of front. I have two pieces of back. Now, you may see I ain't left any seam allowance here in the back. The reason why is because I have so much gap in my back when I fit up my clothing. So I avoid leaving seam allowance in my back. So I have two pieces of back. There's the facing. Now for the back of the top, I cut two pieces and I leave a seam allowance. This is for arm. The reason why I leave this seam allowance here is because when I am um, doing the, I, I like to do a nice trim. So you won't see this seam allowance here when I finish. It would come in need to match this one here. I will show you how I do that. So you have two pieces of that, which is the back. You have to know to design your clothes. Now you have the front, the palm, the front 
for the pants. We have that. You're going to have two pieces at the front. Now for the front at the top, you'll have two pieces at the front. I didn't cut it on a fold because I need a zipper in front. So you have two pieces. And then for the back of the pants, you will have two pieces for the back for the pants. So this is what the pattern would, be look, would look like when you finish. So now I need to mark, do the marking on this pattern piece. Now you have to put the marking onto this pattern piece. So I have my um, dressmaker tracing paper and it look like this. Now I have this in a big roll because I avoid buying those small one because it finished quick. Now this come in a whole roll that I could cut what I want to cut, right? So I have enough. When I cut out a piece, it lasts me very long. So this come in a big box and it come in different color. This is all the color on on the box here. So I have all these color here that I portrait. Now doing pattern, when you trace out your pattern, make sure you trace out every piece of the marking because you would meet in problem. Now you're going to need this, the dressmaker arm tracing paper, and you're going to also need a tracing wheel. You're going to need one of this as well. So what I do, I fold this, and I place this under my fabric, like that, and then I'm going to trace it. Trace the dart. Now the dart is to shape your clothes. Right? I don't always like that in my clothes, but I just put it in the jumpsuit because you get a better fit. And you trace all the seam allowance. Make sure you trace wrong all. Because if you don't, you won't end up doing wrong stitching. Now I have a 5 8 seam allowance on my sewing machine, so I don't blast to trace out all of this. Because remember I sew in long, so I can know what 5 8 look like and what an inch and half inch and so look like i could make that out good but for just for you guys i will just trace this out properly this one piece was bent so let me go back and trace this go back and trace this over it was falling so when you trace you will have all these lines here you could highlight you see all the line there here you could highlight it with chalk which i will do just now but i just prefer to use the black because with the black lines, it will show up more better. This I just put up for white. So I'll use this back. I will trace this. Put this under here. Keep your pattern on, on your arm thing. I'll be tracing all these lines here. Trace it out. Let's see if the end get catch. And you trace in. So you have to get all those lines. See, I just prefer to use more the black in that. So you trace in that again. So I'll show you how to trace out this one. And then I'll go ahead and trace out the rest. I won't trace out all on camera, just give me an idea. What you have to do, pin back this so that it won't move. And you see how neat this um, jumpsuit gonna fit me. I won't have no puckering in the crotch area and all them thing and in the back this jumpsuit will fit very nice because i know how to how i design it to fit I, and suited when you put it on even a jumpsuit you see the whole crotch poker in a set of fabric in the front and it's look real bad see you tracing yeah i would see photo of it don't worry when i finish and yeah, I'm going to be the judge. Just make sure you think hold on back. Make sure you get all those lines. 
pull down. We trace it. Right, so we have that. Trace this marking because we have to get this for um for fit up this font. So you'll get this, you see I rub it there. So we will trace this right here. Right here. So there's the notch. So we need that notches. We need this one here. We need this one. Make sure you put all uh, your marking on that. So I can't see mine. So we need that. We need this one as well. We need this. This. Pull this up. And we need one more. So we need this one here. And you mark it. That. So now this is my back done mark out here. So I could take this off. I could rest this aside. So this is what my pants look like. Now I will put this like this. Some people, everybody do their thing different. I do what more suit me. Some people would put one piece of front and one piece of back together. Right? Now I don't do that because sometimes you get real mixed up with this thing. So what I do, I put my two pieces of back together like this. Because sometimes you get mixed up. And I would pin my back. I put it like that. And I find the seam allowance and I pin it this way. Now where we stitching, you guys might can't see the seam allowance. But what we stitching is here. We stitching here. Here is where we stitching. This is the two piece we stitching. Now, we, this is from here to here is where we stitching or from here to here. We aren't stitching down here so yet. This going to stitch with the front. So we just um, stitching the crotch together for now. So I will pin this like this. And now we're spinning the seam allowance here. Make sure your um, fabric line up properly. I just make one go to my sewing machine. I don't go and come back and all them thing. One walk in I just make. So we pin now. I don't normally pin my fabric. I could sew my fabric just like that because I sew in a very long time. But for you guys I would pin it. But this here I don't really I don't really pin. I sew in too long for that. So when you don't know your pants would look something like that. Right? This would be the back of the pan. So my butt would hold properly in this pants. No waist won't be too low and all these kind of things. So now the other pants are going to come and attach from here. So this is the back. So I could remove this. Now we have the dark to fit up. I'm just showing you how to do it because the front going to fit the same way as the back. So I'll just show you on this um, one here. Now this is the dark I will highlight for you all. And the seam allowance run through here. The seam allowance run here and run through the right. Now here gets dark, so all right. So this is the next dark here. So I will highlight this. Just make sure your fabric lie down properly. This is the next dart here. And the seam allowance run through here. Through there. So now we have to fit up them two darts in the pants. So I will catch this piece like this. And I will put this like that. So come and catch back in between here. And then you catch back to the next one. Always highlight your dart where you could see. Pin. Pin. So we're gonna pin this. Take your time and pin your dart because you want it to be neat. Pin. 
thin. So this is one of my dark finish here. And now I'm going to thin the next one. Thin. So my dart already pinned. So this is the back of my pants ready to go and stitch the dart and stitch this back. So I'll put this aside. Now I fold in this on the wrong side. The reason why, because I don't want my right side of my fabric missing. So I'll fold this. So I'll do the rest. If you want, you can watch along, but I won't be saying anything much in the um, in this. Because as you can see, it's the same thing. So you could watch along if you want. Why is I doing this? So this one finish, we have to do this dark. Let's that aside in the back. Let me do the short pieces first because this one way long. Everything that you do to one pattern piece, you have to do to all. Or else you will get mixed up. Get the same the next one, and you do the same thing. Now we need to mark out this section here because remember this here is the part we're gonna turn in for the zipper. So we need to mark this so we're gonna know exactly how much we left for the seam allowance for the zipper.
pin this back. So every time you move a pin and you finish, pin it back. Make sure everything marked. The bottom want a little more highlighting. Can you see? All right. So I think this black piece here finished. So let me get the next piece of black piece. Let me see. Prefer to use the black. And all this look like it. Let me see. Yes. So I will put this out to get a piece. So I could cut this how I want. So now I will mark this piece here. So I'll fold this like this. Remove this. Make sure your pattern line up properly. So you see you see the line more fold now? That black piece was finished. Well, come on, tree, so this. And I have to trace this extra piece as well. So I'll know how much is the distance from that line. And we have to trace the dart for this. So I'll put this pin this way. This put this up here. Put this aside. Now we're gonna go to the back. And the back piece much longer. So the first thing is going to start from the bottom of the back here because we're going up. Now we'll pin this here.
as I am here, I'm going to mark my seam, my arm notches as well. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to put back the zip in the bottom of the pants to hold the pants in place. I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to mark my notches. Make sure it's okay. Make sure you mark all those notches because you need to see where you're stitching. Now my zipper might stop here. Right at these notches here. So I have to put two notches to remind me that the zipper would be stopping here. So I'll put about three so I would know this is my zipper stop. You have to remember that I always get my chalk and mark zippo. Right, let me see. Good. Now I'll come around here. Mark this. Sewing is all about patience. If you don't have the patience, forget it. Sometimes what time I as much as I could sew a lot. Sometimes we all make mistakes. The best seamstress and all just make mistakes. Sometimes some people bring some clothes for you for sew. And difficult. I don't know if it's because they're miserable. Make the clothes giving trouble. Or something. So there's the side. Moving down. We may finish this one. And then we're going to pin up. And this. I love jumpsuit, but I never really get any for fit me properly. So I have to design my own. And all my pattern would have my name on it, Tamara Fashion Style. And in the next upcoming video, I'll show you how to fit up this, this pattern. So we have that. Let me see if I mark this here. We have all the marking. We have the darts. So now, we're going to pin this front pants. When you pin your arm, um, when you pin... When you pin up your pants them and you pin up your, your um, fabric, keep um pin it back to the pattern so you're gonna know which is with keep it to the pattern. So I always go back and I pin my pants to so put one pin to hold the fabric to the pattern piece so I gonna know which is the pattern piece. This, so this is my front, I find it, this leg here raising, so I'm going to just stick back this pattern, I don't want it to um, come apart because I need to sew a next jumpsuit out of this, but in a different design. So I'll use this one pattern to design all my pieces. So we have that. So this is the front, so you see the front mark out. Don't worry all these, all this here going to come out when you see this um, wash. Because this um, tracing paper don't stain. Where is my chalk? I need my white chalk. So I'll highlight this. So this is two piece. And this is the dart that we have here. And the seam allowance coming from here. Dart. And this is the seam allowance. Right, so now we're going to pin this. So we're going to swing this like this. So we'll do our we pinning up on Saturday. And in my next tutorial, we will sew this together. 
You will be showing this today. We'll do all the fitting up. So this is one pants from dark finish here. So this is the dart. In the next one. And not all the time I just sew my dart before I fit up my clothes. Eh? Because sometimes my dart need to move. So sometimes I would left my dart on so so that when I put my um pants or my skirt on. I would know where I need to shift the dart. But sometimes my dart need to shift for um, the clothes fit properly. So I don't always stitch the dart up same time. So now we're gonna pin this. And I have my seam allowance right there. Make sure you end the fabric match up by the crotch. So we're pinning how we sew in here. I have to remember my zipper coming here. So I will put a zip. Right? And then I'll put this is the last step. So my zipper will become unstitched here, right here. So I will just pin up to here. So I will know that is up to here, I would be sewing. And leaving this open remember this is the front so this front here would be leaving open so the zipper can come right here when I don't attach it to the top right so this I won't pin this because sometimes you get mixed up and you're gone and you stitch right through once I see that open I know my stuff is here so we're not pinning the foot yet so we'll put this aside as well so I'll fold this it back on the front of the pants and I will still pin it in the seam allowance this so I know that is the front so going for the this is the back of the top so we can lose this up Back of the tab won't have a, <coughs> a seam allowance, so we'll pin this dart force. And I always stitch a dart from the widest part come to the narrowest. I will highlight it for y'all. I could see it, but just for y'all, I will highlight it. Pin it. Done one, get the next one, and doing the same thing. Now I have a block page. This picture, what I would put it up on Facebook, plus forget the full view. 
I will, you would have to go to my blog page which I will put in the bottom of the jumpsuit and the video when I finish so you guys can see this jumpsuit in full view. Okay, you have to see more than one picture to see the beauty of the jumpsuit. I never get a jumpsuit to fit me, so I'm trying this one for the first time. So this is the back, cut it up. So now we will stitch this back. And remember, we now have no allowance in the back. So I will put this like this. I'll pin this. This. We now have no zip in the back. That. Make sure the neck match up and we pin this so this would be our back would be closed with our two um seam um dart so i'll put this back on the top so you know that is for that just drive a pin through it so we get the front now This is the front, and we have a zipper in the front. So the front gonna be like this. Let me get a zipper and show you guys. Let me see if I have a zipper anyway close by. Let me get a zipper. So my front would be like this. My front would be like this so i'm using a gold zipper so to pretty it up so my front would be like that this would be my front so this how my front would be so i can zip the zipper down when i ready so i can take the jumpsuit off and the, the pants um gonna come quite here so i can take the zipper off when i ready so let me just show you what it's gonna look like with the pants so is it let me get the front of the pants front of the pants so this is the front of the pants so this coming like this so this is the front of the pants here so this front will come and stitch here on this waist and then this coming and continue with the zipper like that so this stitching on to that and it's gonna continue so the zipper stop gonna be right here so when this done it's gonna look cute with the belt all right so i can zip it down when i'm ready to go to the time just put this back so we're gonna leave this here this have a dart as well, so we have to pin the dart for these. So let me highlight the dart. Alright, we get this one here. Then we get this one here. Good. So we're gonna pin these in place.
this is one front now the facing we have to put some iron on on the facing so the front could look nice the front could be a little could be sturdy sometimes i would have to lower my boss dart but this one here okay on the other pattern you have sometimes the boss dart is too high or sometimes it's too low this one here design okay So you have to know your body for see know what could fit and what won't fit. Now everything I see I just jump in because I know what won't fit you could mightn't fit me properly. So I always design my thing to suit me. So this would be, I know this is my cup you're watching here. So this is one day. We get the next one. So I'll be stitching my dart from this wide end come down. So I could tie the dart off so I won't have that peak. and it's a little um tough for go through the fabric just get a piece of soap and you just pass it like a two or three times and you just wipe it and then it gonna go through the fabric easy you see that it gone through very easy as a designer you have to know all these things you have to know how to take care of your pin how to make the pin sharp clean it I don't want to be buying the same stuff over and over. In it so this would be the front now i won't pin the front because i have to remember to put my zipper so what i would do i would get my chalk i would mark it so i would know there's my zipper going there right and then i would put front So I know this is my two front that my zipper going by. So I would put this like this and pin that back. Because sometimes the front and the back look the same. Put that aside. Now these two here is it this in half dark. So these is the two arm, the two arm facing. Now this, what I would do with this, I would put um just around. The front here, I would get a piece of um, iron on facing like this. They have multiple colors in this. You have black, you have um, I went and get some today. This is the black, this is my elastic. My don't need elastic, so you have black in it, you have white. So, I want to interface this whole thing, it's just wrong the edge. Let me show you. You see how these two edge here? I would just interface like round the edge about here. That's just so you know some um sometime you see some top and it have like a wide neck or the neck draping is because it needs stiffening. So I like hey, I would do the stiffening about here. So I would put this and cut a piece of um iron on facing right here right around here and then i would put this together with the jumpsuit which i will show you when we're ready to fit that up so we're not doing this now but all the marking already mark out on this pattern piece 
So this is all we cut out we have here. So these two have to get into facing the front top here. So these two are to get into facing round the neckline here and round this piece here for the zippo. Right? Let's put the zipper sit down properly. The front of the top here have to get an inter piece of uh, into um, piece of interfacing and here as well. Right? So these here is what have to interface. Um the back have to interface as well with the back the back have to interface around the neckline. Wrong here, the back have to interface so you could get a nice crop look. So all these here, all the pieces that you have to interface is this, 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 and the belt. And the front of the pants have to interface so that the zipper could lie down properly. And this have to interface as well. Right, so I will take um, one of these pants. I'll cut an interface off. Piece of interface. You know, you need your weight for this. The one is the soft one. You have to get the weight same as. You have to get the weight same as the pan because light interfacing is a light fabric, right? So if I, I have a stiff piece here, what would work with this? So this could go with this, but if you want it lighter, you could put lighter. But to me, I find this light one here is for like light fabric. So I'll try for use a little stiffer one so that the top of it could, could look a little crips. So I have a piece here. Why cut out of it already? So I'll see what I can get from this. If not, I'll have to cut the black one. Let me see. I need a whole long piece because when I cut this out, when I open it, it would be long. So. I won't have enough with this, so I'll have to use the black. I have a next white one, but that is too stiff. So I'll cut it from the black one here. Now this full. <coughs> this shiny side is the press on side. So this, we have this here. This is three yards I have here. I'll spread this out like this. And then I'll cut this here. Just how I pin this, I will cut this because when I open it, it's going to be long because the interfacing fall in half, right? The interfacing fall in half. So this is the fall of the interfacing because the interfacing fall in half. So when I cut it, I'm going to get one long piece. So I'm making sure that the two ends together so I can. I don't want to waste this interfacing because it's interfacing expensive. So I'll cut this. Because I need my belt to look properly neat and nice. Alright. So get your scissors. You can cut interface with your fabric scissors too. But I just choose to use a paper scissors and I cut in that this is for put on the belt so it could make the belt stiff and when I don't I can iron it on so I will smooth up the ending I preparing everything so when I come to sew now I don't have all this for do so I'll show you how to iron on this on this so I'll fold this this is the belt we need that for the belt so for the top we'll cut that out when the time reach you that we're ready for that just cut out the arm the top the, the belt piece because the belt piece is a white piece now I have enough little piece there for the top The top I could just rest it down and iron it on. When I don't, I cut out the rest. So this is my interfacing. So I could use these little pieces for the top. But I'm not ready for that yet. So when you finish, you're supposed to have all this. So in this video here, 
So I show you how to cut out. This is the pot on them. You have everything here ready to sew next week in our video. So this is all we have here for today. For cutting out the fat on, marking it out, you get the interfacing, pin the pieces them together. So in my next week video, I will show you how to stitch this. So I will see you next week, God's will, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye, and I hope you enjoy this video. So if you need this fat on, let me know. Or if you need me to sew one of this for you, please let me know. I available anytime right so tomorrow fashion style coming to you with this nice um pattern for corvy right is a corvy pattern that could fit people with big butt um thick legs and it fit properly on your waist and all around your arm um, your butt so call me anytime you're ready send me a message if you need the pattern the pattern will come in at standard size so you would cut your pattern out and I will tell you what measurement I need so that you can get the pattern for fit. So I'll see you next time, next week, so that we can fit that up. So bye, and I hope you enjoy.